Hello everybody, my name is Sarix and I'll be your narrator for today. As always, thank you for the long wait. We're going to be taking a look at level 37 of the backrooms on the Phantom Monkey, which can go by two names, Sublimity or the Pool Rooms. Now, level 37 is an expansive complex of interconnected rooms and hallways, partially submerged in lukewarm water. The size and structure of the rooms vary, ranging from uniform pools and hallways to more open and abnormally shaped areas. For example, one could be in the shape of the United States. Every wall, ceiling, and floor seem to all be constructed from the same ceramic white tiles, with the only deviation in color being from the blue-green hue of the water. The architecture of this level indeed does vary but is strict in nature. It is eerily pristine and never deviates from an orderly evenness. Although the intended purpose of each area is hard to ascertain, they are much too large to properly function as a pool. Level 37's abnormal geometry nullifies any purported purpose it may serve. For example, pillars can protrude out of the water in certain areas, much too large in quantity to justify their amount. Larger submerged areas may lack a ledge to climb out of the water where they are usually located. Entrances to these deeper areas can typically be found in the form of descending staircases or direct underwater holes. However, it is strictly advised to avoid exploring these areas due to their inherent danger, being that they are completely devoid of light and the terrain unmapped. If you don't have the proper equipment for traversing these areas, you could get lost or possibly even drowned in the depths. The temperature of the water is strangely consistent, always being somewhat lukewarm, even in dark areas in the level untouched by light. Upon investigation of this, it turns out that the water contains traces of magnesium sulfite. While engulfing one's body for a prolonged period of time, this compound has a naturally relaxing effect, relieving muscles and other bodily pains in most areas. Traces of multiple unknown compounds were also found to be present in the water. The properties of these substances are also enigmatic, but it is expected that they add to the relieving effect of the water, which has been declared anomalous itself. By unknown means, a minimal and consistent rippling is present in the water covering the level. Despite it being completely undisturbed, it is unknown whether this rippling originates from a certain part of the level or if it is a property inherent in the water itself, though some theorize that the level may be so large that it developed its own tidal forces. In level 37, sound is severely altered and wanderers are affected in various ways. The most commonly reported effects being all noise dripping off quickly, not echoing as it usually would, and feeling muddled or dampened. It is suspected that this stems primarily from the sound of the water, which behaves in a subtly orthodox manner. In certain explorations, the sound of the water is reported to be quiet almost calming. However, it can quickly become obtrusive and drown out other sounds. The cause of these subjective effects is still undergoing research, although it is theorized that the different effects may stem from one's life or history. Level 37 is completely devoid of life, and no encounters with entities or other wanderers have been recorded. It is unknown if this is the result of a previously unknown isolated property of level 37, or if the level is so unimaginably large that one could not possibly find another within it, making setting up any form of colony or group simply unfeasible. But despite this, there is one known entity in the level. The Hydraulic Plague, more commonly referred to as the Hydraltis, is a bacterium which can be found in the water of the darker areas of the level. 
multiple environmental factors can cause it to appear, such as the surrounding water being untreated and stagnant. Hydrolysis is more commonly transmitted by airborne particles containing the bacterium or by consumption of water containing it. Symptoms include weakness, high fever, severe pain, and possibly delirium if infected for a longer period of time. However, due to the nature of level 37, the interpersonal spread of, hydraulic, of the hydraulic plague is not a concern, but the effects of the symptoms may be worsened if level due to the lack of medical availability. Now, level 37 can be entered in a couple of different ways. These are some of them. This level can be entered from certain locations under the water of level 7. Some of the submerged areas of level negative 132 lead to level 37. The carved tunnels in level 67 will often seemingly lead to tunnels in this level. No clipping through certain pools in level 997 will lead to this level, being a more common occurrence in pools with ceramic tiles. Entrances to level 37 can be found in the choir and Harmia areas of level 30. I hope I didn't butcher that. Wading through dark, dingy areas of this level may lead one to level 37.1, typically without the wanderer taking notice. Immersing yourself in the water of this level has a rare chance of re-emerging in the pools of level negative 33 or level negative 34. Long corridors in level 37 can rarely lead to the shower blocks and level 4,242. Some submerged areas may lead to level 67 and level negative 132 in conjunction with the entrances. Thank you for listening one and all. This took me a little bit of time to record, but I hope it was worth it for y'all. Also, I really like this album, and I'm really glad Mr. Backrooms has made the original concept so that it can evolve into something like this. It feels calming and relaxing, you know? If I was in this level for at least one minute, I definitely would stay here. It just really goes to show how the backrooms can't be that so dangerous after all, even with how many people can hype it up to be as dangerous as it can be. Who knows? Maybe the wrath of the level of the 611 rabbit hole may get you on your feet. Who knows? Anyways, see you in the next one.